everybody. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to talk about using mood boards to help you generate and iterate and create faster. And I know a lot of people are confused about mood boards. Uh, there's a little bit of pain here. What do we do? How does it work? All of that stuff. I am going to walk you through it. I've been generating uh, literally thousands of images using mood boards so I can learn how to do it just so I can show you uh, some tips and tricks. So let's say you've got to do a logo, a new logo idea. There's a local high school and they want to change their logo and um, you want to create different versions of it so you can start playing around with it and getting to something that's going to work great. So what I've done is I've created a mood board of uh, sport team logos. So these are some images that I've created in Mid Journey plus uh, really super famous uh, sport team logos. And you'll notice a lot of them all have the same kind of look and style, which is big, thick, bold outlines, bright colors, flat colors, that type of stuff. So this is a really great way to start if you're trying to do something. Okay. Now, this is just the mood board for logos. If you're doing something, for example, I've got a whole bunch of these set up. And let's say you want to do something with watercolor images, you could do the same thing. So what I want to show you today is really just about creating with uh, uh, the mood board I set up, which is using sport team logos. But you, this could be really about anything. Okay. And there's, by the way, there's two ways to uh, create mood boards. One is to upload your own images, which is what I have here. These are images that I have actually created in mid journeys. Um, and if you do that, the limit is a hundred. Okay. And then if you're adding from uh, a link or a gallery, right? So some of these, like my global profile, you can see has over 3,200 images in it. Okay. And these are all created by just ranking different images. And uh, for some reason, mine is always stuck with this castle and this lady <laughs> when it starts, right? And you just, you can skip and um, and it'll load two more logos. And then you just pick which one you like the best. I like this one, okay? And then that saves that into, hey, this is what I like, okay? And I've got a bunch of those set up. So let's go ahead and show you how this is going to work just so you can get a really great um, kind of idea. And then I'm gonna actually create a logo and I'm gonna like edit and generate it all the way to the end. So you're gonna wanna stick around to see workflow tips because I do some crazy things sometimes, right? So we're not gonna do an eagle, I'm gonna do a lion, okay? And the lion I'm gonna do is just simple prompts. Lion, headshot, just because we want the lion's head, right? Angry, fierce, roaring. We have to give the lion something to do. Otherwise, it's just going to sit there and look kind of bored, right? We want a, a fierce lion. This is a logo, right? And we want it in a sport team logo style. Again, I'm doing a logo on this project. This is if you want a background, or you want an illustration, or you want something else, this totally works with those also. This is my low sport team logo mood board and normally when you copy it in it says dash dash profile but i've noticed if you use if you shorten it to just dash dash p sometimes you get better results okay so i typically always do that now i also want to have four levels of creativity here uh, because i want to generate some stuff to start playing with the image. And that's what's really fun is when you build a bunch of images at once, you have a really good chance of finding something that you can work and start playing with that through variations and changing things, okay? So we have style, okay? That's the level of creativity. And this goes from zero to a thousand. And I'm trying out 100, 150, 300, and 600. That's the level of creativity that I want Mid Journey to use. And of course, as the default, Mid Journey gives me four uh, uh, four examples for each one. So this is going to create 16 different images all at once. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, 
that we'll get something that we can start playing with right off the jump, okay? And here's another little trick that I do. I like to keep my variety, which used to be called chaos, I like to keep that not at zero, but like at five, sometimes I do 10 or 15. And this way you get not everything looking the same. You get a little variety. I found, I like using five, that seems to work for me, but you can play around and find, um, find what you like. And also these are the default settings. And for this project, I'm starting off with a one-to-one, -one, which is just, um, which is just a square. Okay. Now, when I hit, when I hit return, it's going to instantly start creating these images. As you can see, I'm going to get 16 images right off the start. And you can see that this has my mood board on it. Uh, my default is 100. Uh, so we've got 150, we got 300, we got 600. Okay. So let's look, do we get anything in here that we like? I kind of, sometimes you get some weird stuff. Okay. And some of these are just awful. Okay. But now remember, this is a mood board based on sport team logos. I really like this one. I really like this one. So we could probably play with these. Okay. And so here, um, I don't really like the eyes, right? So if we go into editor, right, we can just do this. Anything else I don't like? Nope. Let's hit submit. And now we're creating versions of that. And while we're at it, let's do the same thing here. And for some reason, it's got this stupid thing in the corner. And also it's got this background thing. So we can eliminate this, right? And then see what we get. Now we've got red-eyed lion, little pupil. I like the one with no pupils. Which one you like better? That one, okay. So here's what we can do is we can hit subtle. We can also hit strong. We can hit that multiple times. And then we get versions of this uh, to pick from. Let's see how the other one fared. Oh, you know, I didn't delete the whole thing. Let's just ignore those. This is typically how I work. I just start playing around and uh, having fun with it to see where we go. These are my very subtle variations. And you can see... Now watch as the outlines change, the shadows change, different things change. Did we find one that we kind of really liked? You know, I still like the one without the pupils. That looks the best, right? Um, what about the other versions? So very strong, right? Oh, I like that one. I like that one. So here's another thing that we can do, and I typically do this a lot, is we we share the ones that we like. This one, this one. Where's the one we, uh, that one, this one, right? And here's another trick is I do dash dash R4, which is repeat. So I take some of the images I like and say, hey, use these. And then I also do repeat four. Now you could do uh, 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 a C ref, a style ref, or the image, right? We're just gonna use the image right now just to see what happens. We could just totally re-roll this using a C-Ref just to see what happens, right? So we're going to do four new images, and it's going to based on kind of like the average of the three logos that I kind of liked just to see what happens. I always want to know what's around the corner for mid-journey because sometimes you get something that is, is unexpected and dumb, like the, the one with the red ears here that looks like a bat, but... Look at this one. Look at that one's kind of cool with the with the pair the, the hair that goes that way, right? It's always kind of interesting to see what you get. Do we get anything that's noticeably better? This one looks really great. Look at that one. Okay. Again, maybe we don't like the eyes. You can just go in here and uh, change it. And then uh, it's gonna it's gonna get something that you really like. Now I like this one a lot, but maybe let's see what we get. Let's do uh, uh, subtle, strong uh, variations with that also, just to see where that goes. And typically, this is how I create and end up with images 
uh, that I really like because in a matter of minutes, you can get something that's just spectacular. Like, look at this, right? So this isn't anywhere where we started, but it's not a direct headshot. It looks kind of aggressive. I really like how that looks. Let's give that a little tweak just to see where that goes. But, you know, um, you can, the, the beauty of doing this is you can totally create something that you really like. And if you're a professional creative, this is where you bring this into another program and completely tweak it so it's perfect, right? Mid journey sometimes isn't gonna give everything exactly how you like it, and that's okay. Um, but we can get to where we wanna go um, here we, here's, that's a cool one. This is a cool one. So anyway, so this is how you can work quickly. Remember this all started with using a mood board, a couple prompts, and then just kind of working, working the design until we get something that we really like. Uh, anyway, I hope you learned a lot. Please drop us a comment if you've got a question about how this works. Also, please consider subscribing to the Midjourney Experience newsletter delivered to your inbox uh, every single week for 12 bucks a month. Thanks for watching. 